and welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about the books I read in September. So September was a decent reading month. I managed to read six books. I don't remember nine or ten books were on my TBR. So, oh, I have one more. Six was read and let's just go through them. Hopefully, quickly, we'll see how well I remember what those books were about, because September feels like a really long time ago. But let's just get into the The first book I finished was Queen of Ruin by Tracy Banghart. This is the second one in a duology. The first one was is Grace and Fury. And, of course, this continues and ends the story. The first one is about two sisters. They go to the palace and they were brought up with a purpose. So they go to the palace. The oldest one, Serena, was brought up to become a grace and her sister goes with her to be her maid. But when they got there, things happen and Nomi is chosen instead of Serena. So they kind of switch places and then more things happen and her sister like Serena is accused of reading and sent to prison that is on this island so the story kind of evolves from there so what happens when they are separated and learn new things about the system in their country kind of country so in this world women have no power no choice nothing they are only to work and care for family so yeah of course things happen <laughs> but i don't know how to talk about this one i enjoyed the ending I uh, on some level, but yeah, it was okay. I definitely enjoyed the first book more, but I liked how the story progressed and yeah, so I'm happy that I read the whole duology because I struggle with finishing series. So yeah, that's that. I just feel like I didn't say anything about the book. I enjoyed it. It was quite easy to read and I liked both of the main characters so yeah the next book I read was Neuromancer by William Gibson and this was a struggle I think I managed to finish it so uh, so soon as I, I read it like in four days I think but I struggled with it and I finished it only because I found a uh, audiobook on YouTube and then like listened and read at the same time because this story I just it's about a man who in his previous job he was something was done to him on purpose so he lost his like ability he was really good at something at data theft Okay, and then he is kind of rescued by this person who hires him to do something. I didn't understand, like, what was the purpose of the book. At the beginning, I understood that he is, like, kind of... You could say saved because he wasn't doing really great, and they help him and then he has to do a job and by the end I was so confused that yeah I just wanted to finish because this was the book my brother chose for me to read but definitely not a book for me even though it was it is a sci-fi and I usually enjoy those but I just didn't connect with the writing style for some reason I just couldn't so Nothing more to say about this one. Struggle. And I didn't really enjoy it. The next book I read was Water for Elephants. And it's about a man who joins circus. 
kind of on accident and it's about his time there i think it like spans across a few months and he learns a lot about himself about the circus life about people in general so it's interesting but the thing that was hard was to read about the animals because circus and animals doesn't really go well together because they are only for money like to bring money to the circus to perform and that's all they are for i can't say that i really like the main character i think my favorite was rosie and that is the elephant in this story even though she was so mistreated but yeah I think it, the movie is quite well known. I watched the movie, but I didn't really like the movie because they like changed quite a lot of things. And there is a love story to happening. I liked how it was in the book better, much better than the, in the movie. So I definitely recommend the book more. But yeah, I enjoyed the book. I think it is a good book. There were some like historical things that were mentioned, like the time where you couldn't buy alcohol, like it was illegal, and how they got to it, and some things from there too. So that was like interesting part in it. But yeah, I enjoyed. I recommend the book. So yeah, the next book was. Dark Prayer by Natasha Mostert. It starts with a murder where this little girl sees her mother being killed. And then years later, we follow that girl and something has happened. She suddenly kind of forgot her life, what she was living and turned into a completely different person. And then this young man is kind of kind of hired but not really to look into her like to follow her and see what she's doing and it was really interesting and twisted there were some twisted people because it deals with memory like this group of scientists who wanted to like explore it like to help people with different things like to forget or to remember and things like that and yeah I really enjoyed it it was really captivating and yeah but yeah twisted people what mm. I don't want to give away things so I don't know what else I can say but definitely enjoyed it the next one was a river of royal blood by amanda joy this is a story set in a world where the ruler is woman and if the queen has two daughters those daughters have to fight to death to figure out who will be the next queen so one only one can survive it follows one of the sisters up until like we're waiting for her name day because that's a big day and i really enjoyed it i really liked this book i liked the main character i liked how she had a friend like childhood friend and i liked the that relationship between them and then she finds her a teacher who will help her to learn her magic and that was a great character too. I really like that. The main character has a magic of blood and marrow. And it's a rare and it's kind of feared magic. So she's feared. And things happen. I really liked it. I don't know what else to say. But I really enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the characters. And I need the sequel. So I can finish it. The duology i think it's a duology i'm not 100 percent sure but i know that there is a second book out and i didn't see like anything for the third and the last book i read was the ravens by cass morgan and daniel page this is about sorority of witches we follow two girls scarlet and vivi scarlet knows she is a witch 
but Vivi doesn't and she decides to join the sorority and that's how she finds out she's a witch. Of course, not everyone can join that sorority, only witches can and they have this way how they figure out who is a witch worthy of getting into the sorority. And then weird things start happening. Threatening things to the sorority girls and they need to come together to figure out what's happening. And I really liked it. I liked the girls. I liked the world. I think it was really interesting. The witch part, like how, what is kind of behind their magic and how they use it. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, that's the last one. <laughs> so these are my September reads. I had quite successful reading month. If you if we don't count Neuromancer, then I enjoyed all the books, but not really this one. But yeah, great pile of books, I think. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Please let me know what did you read in September? What was your favorite? read from last month. I can fully choose from these two. Both kind of witchy books about magic, uh, but different too. So yeah, these were great. But that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next one. Bye! This was awful. Oh my god. Let's hope I'm not gonna have to refilm this whole video because it took me half an hour to film this one. And I hate it. Right now, I hate it. <laughs> Let's hope I saved it by editing it. Let's hope. <laughs>